Thank you for uh, joining this online session organized by Hong Kong Baptist University. So this briefing session will be the introduction of the new program, Bachelor of Social Sciences and Bachelor of Sciences Innovation in Health and Social Wellbeing. My name is Wendy Wong. I'm a program um, director of this program. Um, I, I'd like also introduce my colleagues, Professor William Zhang. Uh, he's a social uh, associate vice president He's also a professor in the computer science department. I also have um, a very helpful colleagues uh, from a uh, different um, department in our university to help us uh, and um, answer your questions at the end of this session. So today um, uh, we're going to have these agendas. So I will firstly uh, introduce the overview of this program, hopefully to give you some ideas of the uh, philosophy and background why this program is developed. And I will go quickly through the curriculum structure, introduce some career prospects, and also the admission information. We will have some time for Q&A at the end. So let me first give you some background information about this new program. Uh, so this new program actually is developed to meet the rising demand of innovation technology. So its purpose is to make contributions to promoting social and technological innovations to advance health and social well-being. So as you notice that it is the transdiscipline program, uh, at, and um, in fact, it is one of the four new transdisciplinary program offered by Hong Kong Baptist University in the new academic years. So this particular program is a co-hosted by Faculty of Social Sciences and Faculty of Science. So as you may expect it, the courses offered in this program actually um, be offered by different department and schools. <coughs> Excuse me. This new program will be open to students from all academic backgrounds. Um, this program will have two concentrations, including health technology and informatics, and then health and social wellness. So you may wonder why transdiscipline and innovation. So this is the two keywords for this new program. So let me give you some ideas. So I think the one of the driving force for this new program is the global challenges we are facing. So many of you may be familiar with the UN Sustainable Development Goals as shown in this slide. So for example, we have good and well, uh, good health and well-being, quality education. So none of this uh, uh, global challenges actually can be settled by the in individual disciplines. Cross-discipline corporations uh, are needed to tackle these uh, challenges. Uh, secondly, this slide shows the, the survey results uh, from the World Economic Forum. So this is the Future of Job report uh, released in 2020. Um, this is the forecast for labor market uh, evolution in actually by 2025. So this is what the shared by the employers. So as this slide showed that you may notice the relative importance of different skill groups uh, shown in this slide. Um, the blue part actually show the uh, those uh, skills group that are uh, stable and increasingly um, important shared by the companies. These include critical thinking, analysis, problem solving, self-management, and so on and so forth. And technology use and development is another important uh, skill set that is required for future job. And then we won't forget the local and regional needs, as we noticed that actually there's increasing aging populations in um, Hong Kong and also in the region. So there is a new emerging market um, Recently, we quite often heard the genome technology, so actually tackle the uh, issues we are facing for aging populations. And we have new technology and devices. I'm sure for young generations, you are quite familiar with this. I don't have to uh, explain too much about this. So every day is actually we use these technologies and devices in our daily lives, uh, not only for health purpose, but also for the daily function purposes. Um, and we have new services ideas emerging from time to time. Um, these not only affect the public sectors, also affect social enterprises and NGOs. And also there is a rising demand in insurance, actually. This is one of 
uh, we believe a potential um, employers for this uh, uh, graduates from these programs. I will come back to this point later on. So all of this actually requires a cross-discipline or transdiscipline or, or corporations to tackle these problems. So you've been wondering uh, how it could happen. So I would like to give you an example happening at our university uh, involving social innovation and transdiscipline research. So this project actually explored the role of big data analytics in promoting the smart low carbon cities. So this project is a collaborative project across different disciplines and stakeholders. And it is supported by the um, Research Impact Fund from the government. So two important perspectives uh, that uh, you may notice. First, it is multidiscipline um, collaboration. So involve expertise from different background. Uh, for example, it will combine the app-based big data analytics and community engagement activities. It will offer the householders freedom of choice. They can develop their capacity to build community partnership and ultimately to demonstrate the community-based approach to contributing to the low carbon cities. And at the same time, it involves multi um, stakeholders. It is a collaboration across disciplines and beyond the academias. So it involves 11 Hong Kong View academics nine collaborators from local and overseas universities. And most important, it involves local and overseas partner organizations. So this is the collaborators uh, outside the academic field. So I'm wondering how uh, your study in the future may be related to this transdisciplinary research at Hong Kong BU. Well, I should say by taking this program, actually, uh, we do expect students not only the passive receiver of the knowledge and skills, but um, also um, proactively participate in this collaboration. Uh, you may work with your supervisors, your advisors, your mentors, and peer students um, to come up with innovative solutions to tackle uh, the problems or challenges we are facing. Um, the ultimate goal is to enhance health and social well-being. So now let me give you uh, more information about this uh, program structure. You may have noticed this slide shown um, in videos just now. So this is a four-year program. Uh, on the left part of this uh, slide, actually, this is uh, uh, quite specific to this uh, transdisciplinary program. But on the uh, right side, actually, there are some common elements, uh, which is uh, uh, also applicable to other transdisciplinary programs or uh, other programs offered at Hong Kong BU. So I will give you more information say, in the coming slide. But briefly speaking, you will notice that the first two years uh, to provide the foundation knowledge and skill for students. And at the same time, they will um, uh, have opportunities to take some university core courses and general education, as long as the global challenges, which is very unique course offered uh, in um, these programs. I will talk about this later on. And in the third year and fourth year, you will notice, as I mentioned before, there will be two different concentrations, including health and social well-being concentration, health technology and informatics concentration. So for this concentration, actually, um, many of these courses are offered by faculty of social sciences, cover different health-related subjects, and for health technology informatic concentration, um, many of these courses uh, will be offered by faculty of sciences. So you will say, uh, according to the students' preference, academic backgrounds, um, they can choose different concentrations uh, before they enter into year three. Uh, of course, we have summer internship and on a project, as well as a lot of opportunities for free electives in the last two years. So I will give you more information um, for the different courses and elements in this program. So I would like to start with this global challenges. As I mentioned, this is quite unique for this program. So let's have a look of uh, it. So this is what we call transdisciplinary common core and global challenges. So these core uh, courses actually uh, are offered for the four transdisciplinary program. Uh, and students will 
have these courses in the first year. So what does it mean? It means that students taking the four trans different program will take the same course together. So that will facilitate uh, the um, um, dialogue and communications uh, between students from different backgrounds and different programs. So uh, these um, core courses actually um, aims to provide students with uh, global perspectives. It will cover three themes under the UN's uh, SDGs, as I mentioned in previous slide. So these three themes include the, at the individual level, health and wellness challenges, at the community level, social cultural challenges, and at the macroscopic levels, environmental and uh, ecological challenges. So it's really involved team teaching. So the colleagues from different schools and faculties will join the teaching to, to facilitate the transdiscipline dialogues. And this course will involve a lot of field work to gain the empathy for students. And it is a problem solving based approach, which means that students will have uh, opportunities to talk to each other, to have workshops, seminars, to solve the problems that they identified uh, in the beginning. And it will have presentations and reflections to facilitate students' teaching and the learning activities. So for skills and knowledge, uh, which are very important uh, for students. So these are the courses uh, that will be offered at the second year. So these are the courses offered for both concentrations. So you may notice that some of the courses are relevant to health and well-being, and the other courses may be relevant to the uh, technology and the informatics. So uh, we're trying to strike a balance between two concentrations. So that's why students, no matter they choose which concentration, actually they have the uh, fundamental knowledge in both uh, uh, components before they make their decision uh, which concentration they want to focus uh, in year three. Okay. So uh, as I mentioned, for, uh, starting from the year three, students can make their decision to choose different um, uh, focus. So for the health technology and the informatics, the knowledge and skills will focus on this uh, our perspective. So this slide show you some example uh, of the core courses offered for students who are interested in this concentration. For example, health informatics, uh, technology in practice, a health and assistive uh, technology, data analysis and management, exploratory data analysis, and visualization, and etc. So most of this course will advance students' knowledge in health technology and informatics. On the other hand, for students who are interested in health and social wellness, uh, they will be more focused on the uh, this uh, uh, course is relevant to health topics, uh, including, for example, the uh, geography of health and environment, uh, physiology, nutrition, health, health promotion. And also, we think students who are interested in this concentration uh, should have some ideas of a social entrepreneurship, and they have to have the understanding of how uh, the health promotion uh, can be evaluated and they have to have essential skills, uh, including quantitative uh, method of uh, social research and quantitative research method as well to help them to evaluate the programs. And um, last but not least, a student has to uh, gain some knowledge uh, on how the program can be developed and evaluated. Another key features of this program is that we emphasize inferential learning. So this is very important. Uh, we think that students can learn uh, not only by uh, the uh, classroom teaching, but also experience the, uh, the real world settings to practice their knowledge and skills and to uh, solve the problem by applying the knowledge and skills they learn from the classroom. So experiential learning actually uh, are important elements in this program for both concentrations. So this just the four examples applicable for students in two concentrations. Of course, students choosing different concentrations uh, actually will have their own 
uh, inferential learning uh, uh, courses and opportunities at the year three and year four. So these four are just a common part, including the AI and data analytics for health and social innovation, summer internship and on a project. So for the internship, it will be conducted in the third year. Uh, so um, and the idea is that students will have uh, about 220 uh, uh, to 230 hours of internship. And in fact, um, the encouraging uh, message I can um, let you know here is that actually we have had uh, conversations with uh, uh, different stakeholders and potential employers and all of them are happy to provide internship for students. Uh, this included the different stakeholders and sectors, including AGOs and uh, those um, uh, health technology or social uh, enterprises. Uh, for the honor project, we think it is quite important for students to gain uh, research related experience, but also to gain the um, uh, experience of uh, problem solving. So uh, you can see that the, pro the honor project will consist of two parts. The first part is mainly focusing on how students can develop their uh, proposal or develop their plan to, uh, to tackle uh, a problem to solve an uh, a issue. And for part two, actually, uh, it is uh, um, relevant to the showcase and demonstrate the finding of this project. So let me talk about some career prospects. So these uh, career opportunities actually are quite diverse. Uh, we just to show you some examples. So we believe that actually there are a lot of opportunities that may, may uh, not include in this slide, but uh, also possible. So for the health technology and informatic concentrations, the, the graduates may, um, um, based on the interest, um, have these opportunities to become the health, for example, health informatics specialist, uh, health data analysis uh, for insurance company, um, or a smart health solution developers or health and social innovation stuff up, um, related. So the uh, job actually opportunities um, um, exist in uh, different sectors, including government department, NGOs, private sectors or social services. For the health and social wellness concentrations, because uh, the courses and skills, knowledge gained by students are more focusing on health and social well-being, on program evaluation and development. Uh, so we believe the graduate from this concentration uh, will be capable for uh, project management in NGOs, uh, corporate uh, health, um, or uh, witness teams, insurance companies, specialists in health, nutrition, or sports, um, or social impact research analytics. So again, so the sectors may involve a government, NGO, private uh, sectors, and social services. So lastly, uh, I will uh, briefly talk about admission information. Actually, you will find these uh, information on the web page. So for the coming academic years, we have uh, uh, 30 quarters for this intake. Uh, the program minimal requirement has been clearly stated in the web page. So basically uh, we will um, um, focus on the four core and the two elective courses. So one of the elective must be any category A subjects, including the extended part of mathematics. And the other electives can be any one of the following subjects as shown here. Uh, but I have to make it clear that no interview will be arranged for Jupiter's applicants. And, um, and the uh, different aspect for this particular program from the other transdisciplinary programs is that uh, no portfolio is required for this, uh, for this program. So I think that's the uh, highlights I want to uh, cover. It. So last but not least, our web page contains information uh, about this program and also the admission. So uh, I encourage you to have a look at these programs to get some uh, um, uh, information. And um, so that's all for my introduction. So I'm